Hey guys, I'm back with another video, day three. All right, today's topic's gonna be fucking wild, it's controversial. You might wanna even wanna click off the video, but it's about transmaxing. And okay, this is just a phenomenon I recently discovered, but this is some fucked up shit, dude. Um, well, all right, it's not, it's not completely their fault though. There's a narrative that society pushes that if you're not a certain way as a man name, they basically don't deserve the perks of being a high value man which to some degree i agree with that statement but all right there's some males out there who simply cannot handle being sexless name having no connections with people name lack of intimacy but i mean i feel like you should still have hope and improve yourself and become the kind of dude who can attract high quality women or just even women in general at all like name but, alright, we're getting into today's video. I'm gonna show you guys this clip from a YouTuber I watch. And uh, he explains transmaxing a little bit better. Transmaxing is usually when an incel, a man who identifies as a woman in order to date lesbian women. As young boys, these men never learn the basic core principles for what it means to be a man and how to attract the opposite sex. No matter how hard they try, they can never seem to win at the dating game, just like other sports that these below average men cannot win, such as swimming. Look at Leah Thomas. Unlike the popular belief that incels only exist on the right where the Republicans and the conservatives reside, I would greatly disagree with that considering the fact that the left has a bad habit of pussyfying young boys before they even reach puberty. Then they continue that notion that it isn't okay to be a masculine man. They continue that notion that anything masculine is automatically bad and harmful for society. The crazy liberal alt-left coined the term toxic masculinity, shaming any man who shows an ounce of testosterone that's why it is no surprise to me that there are misguided males seeking for their place in the world wandering around aimlessly with no purpose trancing themselves in order to gain female acceptance after feeling like a reject for so long and being a reject mind you these men start to harbor hatred for themselves for the world and a deep hatred and animosity for women well, he explained it way better than I could have, but I'm gonna go over the supposed benefits these people who've been transmaxing have been doing. Sexual excitement for having a feminine body, the superiority of female aesthetics, access to the trans being dating pool, full body orgasms, multiple orgasms from penile stimulation, your breasts will become sensitive, you will feel emotion stronger and be happier on estrogen, being able to attract cis lesbians if you become attractive enough, being able to attract high quality males for sex, softer skin and less or no acne live longer being able to extract resources from males you will no longer be driven to do dangerous and idiotic things due to testosterone stop and reverse hair loss people will treat you better if they think you are a female less likely to get killed access to female spaces males are disgusting cheaper car insurance all right that one's kind of funny <laughs> okay but are you guys starting to see the problem with this we as a society need to do better. We need to better ourselves as men. We need to be more masculine. If uh, Women, on the other hand, I mean, y'all got to take some accountability too, but y'all need to be more feminine. We wouldn't have these problems in the world if everybody was playing their fucking roles. All right. Sorry, I got a little aggressive there, but no, it's facts. Like, All right, guys. I spoke my opinion on this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to have another video for you guys tomorrow. Um... But yeah, I'm back in season for good, baby. Hawaii. Oh, I almost said my old YouTube handle. A is chosen. But I'm going on under one final change of name. It's coming up very soon. All right, guys. Peace.